Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we're going to be doing something super exciting. We're going to redo my home office space uh, and I'm very excited about this because I've been thinking about it for months. I just haven't pulled the trigger and now finally we're going to make it into a nice sort of light colored boho fantasy area which I've been <laughs> wanting to for the longest time. So I'll show you what it looks like now and then I'll show you what my plans are. It's a little bit messy, so sorry about that. Oh, and if you don't know who I am, my name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and uh, it does not look very organized today, so let's, let's, let's take a look. So here is my home office. I am a avid plant collector, so I have a lot of house plants. I have like over 80 or something, so they live there on that shelf and oh the lights just went off the gray lights just off and they live there on that shelf so we're gonna consolidate the these two babies onto like one sort of long shelving unit here on the wall so that they don't i mean the the black in here is looking a little bit dark anyway i'll show you around more i've got a pair of billy bookcases there with doors I think one of these days I'm gonna replace the knobs on the doors because they're just like the Ikea ones, but I love this thing. I inherited it from my husband when he changed offices, so I love it. I do have a little couch in here. Just ignore all of this stuff. It is office stuff. It's going to get unpacked. And here is my desk. So where all the fun happens. So what happens is I live stream on my other channel three, two to three times a week. And I've sort of got my live streaming set up really nice, but it can be a little more, I don't know, it's just a little snug for me right now. I don't have enough space horizontally, so I'm gonna get a longer desk. And I also got a new chair. Now I know a lot of you love this bunny gaming chair. I love it too, I think it's cute, but it's. I think it's time for me to change it up a little bit. So I got a new chair. There it is there, and I'm gonna hook that up as well. And I got a new freestanding alpha desk that's going to cover like basically the entire window. And I'm very excited to put some plans on it as well. So it's got drawers, and hopefully I'll be able to hide a lot of this cord mess that's back here because all I have all kinds of like equipment and stuff hooked up. So hopefully this should take me less than a day, and I think that I'm ready to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is like, hang this shelving. I have some white alpha shelving that I'm gonna hang right here. So I guess I have to move all of these plant babies. They'll be okay, <laughs> they'll be okay. Starting any organization or redecorating project is always really intimidating. You have to look at the big picture and you think to yourself, oh, I've got a lot to do, but really just start in a corner and just go, put one foot in front of the other and go for it. None of the shelving or plants had been moved here for a long, long time. So there was a lot of dirt and dust on the floor. So I took a little bit of time to vacuum. I don't feel like maybe I should have done that at that point because I ended up doing it again because of course I made holes in the wall <laughs> and that produces a lot of dust that falls out of the drywall. So. I probably could have saved myself the effort by vacuuming once instead of twice, but that was my oversight. Anyway, I both love and hate hanging alpha shelving. I always get nervous that I'm going to do it incorrectly, even though for years I taught people how to hang it and I've hung lots of alpha shelving before and none of it's come off the wall. I just always get really scared that like one time it's gonna definitely come off the wall and it never does. It's very easy to hang and it's very easy to install. All you need is, you know, just to hang that one thing, the top track at the at the top of the ceiling, and you are good. So I actually had a top track from our last place that we owned that was above my husband's desk, and he has an entirely different work environment. He's got his own office now, and that shelving went unused. So I went downstairs and grabbed all of these old alpha things and decided to reuse it. So I had um, a bunch of alpha parts down in my basement. So you'll notice a couple, you, it's, it's a little bit Frankenstein-ish, like some of the pieces are a little bit longer, some are shorter. So I'm just working with what I have. I actually didn't buy anything for this project except for stuff for the desk. I bought a few pieces of alpha for the desk, but that's it. So all of this stuff is just stuff that we happen to have 
in the lower level hanging out. So I was very happy to reuse it and not spend any money on it and give those plant shelves to some other person who's going to love it. There is the almost finished version of the shelf. The black shelves that were there before were almost taking away some of the light out of the room because if you have things that are white in a bright room, they reflect light off of their surface. So I just wanted to lighten it up so that my plants could get the most light possible. <laughs> and so that the room feels a little lighter and brighter. So I had every my all of my little plants just all around the house. <laughs> While I was doing this project, I didn't want to get dust on them or anything like that. And I actually put clear liners on all of the shelves because the shelves are actually lined. They're, they're a birch veneer. So any water that's gonna drip down is gonna definitely damage the finish. So I put clear liners on every shelf show so that I could protect the surface of the shelves and I think they look pretty cool I was debating whether or not to use the solid shelves but I think they're definitely fine I do set up grow lights to supplement the light from the window but that window in my office gets the most light of all the windows in my office weirdly enough because it just it, it just does <laughs> Okay, I just listed the plant shelves um, on my local plant giveaway group. I'm just gonna let them go to somebody who wants them. Someone's gonna love them. The grow lights are attached to the shelves that they're not getting them off. So they're gonna get grow lights and shelves. So somebody's getting lucky and uh, hopefully someone will take it soon. But uh, this is a lot of work, but uh, I love what's happening so far. That's so much brighter and lighter. I love it. I'm gonna set up some grow lights over there as well. For some reason, it's really satisfying to give things away to people you know will really use them and appreciate them. My local plant sort of trade group is amazing. They're always like giving away plants and cuttings. And I just figured that this plant shelf with all of the grow lights on it would be so exciting for somebody. So you're going to see me in these clips being back and forth on my phone, responding to messages of people that are interested in. I was giving away a couple of plants that I just didn't you know, feel like taking care of anymore. <laughs> that, not, not that I don't love all my plants, but some of them I find a little less inspiring. So I really want to give them to someone who really wants to take care of them. And actually my ficus elastica that I had had for the past couple of years, I just couldn't make it happy. I don't, I didn't know what it wanted. I, no matter what I did, I could never make it happy. So I gave it to someone who has said they finally figured out what ficus wants so i hope that it thrives with them so i'm really really excited to, that it has a new home okay again ignore the curtains they look terrible i know just ignore them they won't be seen after this i'm setting up my alpha freestanding desk this is similar to the one i actually had in my last home I owned, but except it's not going to be in the closet. So it's not going to be a cloth. The greatest thing about Alpha Freestanding is that it's so versatile. It can be used as anything. I've had these uprights for at least 10 years and I was using them as a closet. I've used them as bookshelves. I've used them in all kinds of ways. And they've been in our lower level in our storage room for a few months. And I was like, Hey, you know what? I need a longer desk. I might as well just make use of what we already had. So I did buy some 20 inch shelves to use as my desk surface. So I'm actually losing a little bit of depth from my old desk. My desk was 24 inches uh, deep, but only 55 inches wide. So in this one, I'm gaining a lot of length, but losing a little bit of depth. But I found that that four inches really didn't affect me very much. And I've worked with this depth before and I really, really didn't feel like I needed anything bigger. So. I love the fact that I could put drawers on my desk now. Oh my gosh, I needed some drawer space. The drawers do look kind of funny from the side. The, you know, the alpha drawer fronts look really great from the front, but they look a little funny from the side, but I do cover that up a little bit with some items. So I don't really notice it as much as I do when there's nothing there. However, I have to say that, oh my gosh, here's Clover. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw Clover because I know that you appreciate seeing Clover in the vlogs. He is very, very cute and he came to see what I was doing and now he's not interested anymore. So 
Installing everything back onto this desk was quite time consuming, but very satisfying. I have to say with all of my heart, after the pandemic started and I started streaming from home and doing a lot of game creation stuff, I've really been just very touched and surprised about how warm everyone has been on that side of YouTube, uh, especially since I'm a little bit older. I've always loved video games and I just, I feel warm and fuzzy when people come to see me play. So I wanted to put a little love in this space. All right, I am back. Welcome to day two of my office redo. As you can see outside, I've got my both my desk and my chair in the hallway. They've been listed on Facebook Marketplace. Um, first, it's only like a couple hours ago, so no bites yet, but hopefully someone will come take those away. But um, I'm just finishing up the uh, sort of odds and ends in here. Here is the plant shelf wall. I love the way that it turned out. I do have some grow lights hooked up. And I'm going to, well, there, and this is not like the permanent place where the grow lights are. I probably put them on this side because this is less sun and these are right in front of the window, but um, they're white, so they blend in a little more. So I have two more packs of those down there. So I'm gonna hook those up. And I definitely have to put some bracket covers on these. I found some downstairs so that they'll look nice and finished. And I found some standard covers. I think I'll put these on as well as the top track covers. So I'm gonna get my ladder back out and uh, finish my stuff. Oh, I gotta do a little bit of cord control over here because it's looking a little disorganized. So we will do some quick cord control. By the way, hooked up my Elgato XL, uh, Elgato Stream Deck XL, and look, it's so cute. Um, this is what the, it looks like when it's sort of off. Um, I think I can just program it to be a, a different graphic than that. I'll have to look into it, but I'm gonna set that up also. So fun. Having an office full of plants and living things is one of the most wonderful things about having this space. I really, really enjoy taking care of them, doting over them, seeing who's growing. Every time I see a new leaf or and a flower. I am so excited and it's just like the little things that allow me to slow down if I'm feeling stressed or if I'm feeling sad. Sometimes I'll just go over and do some leaf pruning or doting on them or watering and it just makes me feel a little bit closer to the earth and a little bit closer to me in a weird way. I, I really enjoy taking care of plants. I ha always have been really close to nature. I used to collect bugs and fish and rocks when I was younger. My parents were always <laughs> seeing that I was bringing things from outside. I spent a lot of time chasing animals and picking up sticks and climbing trees. And I really don't think that you really change much as an adult, you know, you are the same person. So I really enjoy nature and I was very actually happy to have some drawers to organize all of my little plant stuff. I had been putting stuff in bins, but now I was like, hey, I need some drawer space. It's always important to practice a little trial and error when you organize spaces. You've definitely got to see what works. Oh my gosh, I pulled out those bamboo sticks or bamboo trellises and I didn't realize they were full of like powder or shavings. And I looked at my jeans, I'm like, what happened? What is that? So I wiped it free and I realized it was kind of all over the floor as well. So I had to vacuum that up. And I had gotten some gnarly kind of stuff at the bottom of this bin. I didn't think it would clean up very well, but it cleaned up fantastically. I was very surprised. It almost looked like nothing happened there. So I was very pleased about that. I have a lot of potions and, you know, 
alcohol and wa special water, distilled water and fertilizer for the plants. When you start to keep plants as a hobby, you, you have all these special things you do. You, they become like your little green children. <laughs> I think it's really important to keep your work from home space inspiring and relaxing so that you can work in an environment that is not distracting for you. And the sort of boho jungle feel is kind of what I was going for. I love having that big monstera and that lily in the corner. It makes me feel so relaxed. I actually was thinking about putting a plant there. I think I'm gonna put a plant there. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to do. I'm definitely considering putting a plant back on the right, uh, the left-hand side where it was before, um, but I haven't done that yet. Anyway, I did decide to change the handles on these cabinets. I went to Home Depot, I found some cool handles, but I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. Actually, they're knobs, they're not handles. I couldn't decide which ones were my favorite, so I just bought all three and decided I would use them in different parts of my house if I didn't like them. But I had fun choosing between the, the three of them. I had this one to choose from and these two sparkly ones. Find out which one I chose. Okay, I am done decorating. It's time for my new office reveal. I'm so excited to show you and I'll take you on a tour around the office and tell you how I organize everything. And um, so yeah, let's, let's go, let's take a look. to film this tour and I love it so much. My office is got a nice jungle vibe, um, a nice sort of chill vibe, and I really like working in here so far. So I still have the couch, I still have the bookcase, um, but we have gotten rid of the IKEA bookshelves. I did give those away on Facebook to my planty people. They were so excited to get them. So the first change I made was to put some things on the wall, just some decorations that are special to me. There is a little map of Boston subway that I got off of, where did I get that from? Society6. And then I found this cute little thing on Poshmark. It looks kind of like clover. It's a little bit cheesy, but I love it. I think it works really well. On this wall, I've also had this board forever and I just put it back up. It's kind of my inspiration mood board. I have things that are important to me, pictures of my childhood, as you can see, uh, pictures of my old horse I used to have, pictures of my old cat, and some stuff that really means a lot to me. I have a, actually a postcard from the Coca Rico, a restaurant I went to on my honeymoon that really meant a lot to my husband and I, and some pictures of my parents and stuff. So just some fun little pictures to keep me inspired and motivated. And over here in the entrance to the room, we have the fabulous table. I still have my chair outside. That's gonna go very soon, but we've got the peacock table and that houses my Calathea rattlesnake plant, which is one of my favorite, favorite plants. It lives over here. It's basically on, you know, on display here by itself on purpose. I love this plant so much. And right below it is Little Clover's bed so he can sleep while I work. And we've got a little basket here for my yoga mat and some cozy pillows if I wanna cozy up in my chair and also my fun little lamp. Um, I just, there was a nail here when we first moved here. So I just put my Bach uh, on the subway invitation here. And Bach in the subways is something that musicians do during Bach's birthday. They will sing and perform Bach's music in the subway. It's really fun. And we did it one year and I still have the car from it. It's a fun memory. Now we have my Alpha freestanding desk. None of this is attached to the wall. It's just freestanding on its own. And I love the way that it turned out. I love the birch. I had some of this birch shelving and freestanding shelving. So I just grabbed some extra pieces and parts and put it together myself. Um, it's mostly cord control, under control. So um, the things underneath the desk are not cords. They're just the stabilization kits for the desk. But this is the only place that's kind of messy with cords and there's not really a lot I can do about it because it's just streaming equipment. I've got capture cards. I've got hard drives. I've got hubs. So it just 
isn't going to look the greatest, but it was the best I could do. I actually considered putting a drawer front in front of it, but then, I don't know, I just didn't want to have it be more closed off than it was, so I kind of like the way that it is anyway. But there's no cords on the floor, which is awesome for the vacuum, especially the Roomba that we have. And I just have two drawers over here. And by the way, my desk length now is 72 inches. So I, for what I sacrificed in width, because now this is a 20 inch depth, I'm sorry, sacrificed in depth, because this is 20 inch depth, I made it for in width. So now I have all this extra space for um, all of my streaming equipment and my consoles that are on top of the desk now. So I've got my GameCube here in case I wanna play old games and stream them. Then I've got uh, my two Switch docks and then I have another switch here. Yes, I have a lot of switches. I have a thing, it's a problem, but I enjoy my games, okay? Let me enjoy my games. Back behind here, I have a little Apple speaker and then I have two little plants. I have this little cute propagation tube here with a little sloth. Is that not adorable? I gave him to myself for my birthday and I've been rooting up this Monstera Silta Picana and hopefully that will root up nicely and make me a nice clone of that plant. In the corner where the plant shelves used to be, I just put my big plants. So I've got my Monstera Deliciosa here and my Peace Lily. I also have some up here on this uh, shelving on the desk. I don't really have much up here. I don't really think that much really belongs up there. I wanted to keep it kind of minimal. So I like the way that it is right now. Just a couple of notebooks I have up here for when I feel inspired and want to write. In the drawers, it's mostly Nintendo equipment in the first one. And it's like Nintendo stuff and the little holder for my phone when I have meetings and I want to have them on my phone instead of on my computer. This is basically all Nintendo stuff and cords. And then in the second drawer, is where I have my laptop and, la and my iPad for laptop fun if I want to <laughs> take my laptop. I've been struggling where to actually store my laptop and all of its uh, components and this is a very good place and I don't have to look at it all the time because <laughs> I still play The Sims on my laptop a lot. I have two different saves going on so um, sometimes I like to boot that up and uh, have fun with that. Over here we've got my new Alpha plant shelves. Now I'm missing one piece of phasia because I did this project with, a, with parts and pieces I already had. So I definitely need to grab another piece of phasia for that top shelf. As you can see, it's only got one on there, but it still looks pretty sharp. I also ran out of top track cover, not top track cover, but um, standard cover. So I covered the holes until there. So I need to pick up more of that, but you know, that can be done at a later date. But anyway, all my plants now live over here and they love it because they receive the most light actually in this corner. So I decided that this was gonna be the corner they were gonna live in. This is, receives a really nice afternoon light, like nice, uh, I don't know, sundown light, I suppose. And if I need to get them supplemental light, I got some brand new white grow light so they blend in with the rest of the system. They don't um, detract from the lightness of it all and they work really well, they're programmable and they can receive supplemental light every, anytime they need it. And underneath there, I just have a couple of drawers with some plant supplies inside. This one has, looks like there's an extra grow light here. I got some worm castings. I have some extra pots, um, some pesticides, some seeds and that stuff. And this one I've got just, you know, another more plant odds and ends. I have a magnifying glass for when I have to look for pests. I've got a humidifier which needs to be cleaned out. I got some gardening gloves. I've got some uh, moisture meters. I've got all kinds of things in here. I got fertilizer. So just everything I need to be the best plant mom I can be. By the way, can we take a moment just to appreciate my philodendron gloriosum? She is doing amazing. My husband got me this for Christmas and it's gotten two beautiful new leaves since Christmas. Look at that. Gorgeous. And we can take a moment to appreciate my Anthurium crystallinum. She is living her best life on this shelf. She is the queen of the shelf. So no one messes with her. Over here, I still have my Ikea Billy bookcases with glass shelves. I mean, sorry, not glass shelves, glass doors. A lot of you ask where this is from. It's from Ikea. So all you have to do is buy the Billy bookcases and then you can buy the glass shelves and they fit right on there. The This door is not lined up with the rest of the doors. I don't really know how to fix it. It's gonna drive me crazy until I know how to fix it, but I'm gonna leave it alone until someone knows what they're doing with it. But I'll show you what's inside. 
I did change out the knobs for these bubble glass knobs and I love them. I think that they're so fun and they're so much better than the original knobs that came with the unit. So I know a lot of you who are classical singers or classical musicians were asking how I organized my sheet music. Um, this is how I do it. I have these magazine full folders or magazine files and I have different categories of music in every one because I don't want to look at the backs of the scores. So this one I have Bach choral music. I have three and then I have Bach cantatas. Halo Haydn, we call it H&H. &H. This is like maybe a city joke, I don't know. <laughs> miscellaneous choral, miscellaneous choral. And then down here I mostly have the solo stuff. So I have opera arias, anthologies, song cycles, German art songs, English art songs, and French art songs. When I keep them in the magazine files. I don't have to look at the sides or the spines of the scores. And it keeps everything looking a lot neater. And then it, it's, or it's, it's organized too, so where I can find things. I don't need uh, paper scores as much as I used to, of course. So, cause a lot of my stuff happens on PDF now. So I don't actually buy scores anymore, but when I need, when I do need one, I know where to go. The rest of the shelves are mostly for displaying things. I actually have DS and DS things, 3DS things in this box. I have little machines and things like that in there and the charging stuff as well. And my little Nintendo nostalgia collection here, I, Love having these Amiibos here. I think they're fantastic. And my little Pikmin guy <laughs> and my little Pikachu. So I've got my little nostalgia. And this is my first ever Nintendo Entertainment System that was purchased for me by my parents. My, my dad actually like it etched his name in here um, along with the serial number of the machine. So in case it ever got stolen, I don't know, but um, it's uh, something that I have that's a, a relic and I enjoy that I still have it. Here I've got manga and I've also got office supplies. These are the only office supplies I have. In the first drawer I have, it's just scissors, markers, dots. These are like a little adhesive dots, staples and a stapler. And then in this drawer I have binder clips, binder clips, paper clips, erasers, little microfiber cloths to wash things, just odds and ends. I've got some white out and many, many measuring tapes. I, of course, organize places for a living. And so I have many measuring tapes, including the fabulous E-tape. If you are not familiar with E-tape, you have to check this out. The best thing about E-tape is that it has a digital readout on the top so that you just can't make a mistake. And you can convert it to centimeters, inches, and whatever you need to, to make this more accurate for your situation, it's great, um, get one. <laughs> and on this side, it's basically all of the books that I have for my collection. I have gotten rid of a lot of books that I don't use or read anymore. And these are just the ones that I keep going back to or that are really special to me. And I like having them here. I kind of have them in a color-coded way, but not so much that it, I think it's obnoxious. Um, down here is just some singer stuff, like some singer masks and stuff like that. And then down here is just some magazines. Some of them I contributed to and some of them I found to just be interesting. So my magazine collection is here. And the last space I have in my office is my closet. And it's basically storage for all the rest of the stuff. I do have some hanging clothes in here because of my classical singing career again. I have basically just all concert dresses and concert wear here. So if I need to get ready for a concert and be a diva, I am all set. But I mostly have content creation solutions and stuff in here and wigs in case, in case I feel like I need to be a different girl. I'll put a wig on. So I have got some wigs here. Actually, I'll turn the light on in this closet so you can see. There, I've got a row of wigs just up there hanging out. I love a good wig if I'm not feeling like getting dressed up, you know. Um, but in the drawers, I basically just have have camera equipment and craft stuff. So here I just have all adapters for electronics. And in the second drawer, we've got all of the camera equipment. I've got tripods here, uh, various things here. I got memory cards. I've got carrying cases. I've got, I'm all set for my camera equipment. And then here I've got everything for my microphones um, and some other stuff too, but mostly microphone equipment. I've got microphones for on top of the camera, for my lapel, for doing voiceovers. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. And then in here, I've got stuff for beading. So if I make some beaded jewelry, this is where I come to get all my supplies. And in this drawer, we've just got stuff for, this is like the Cricut iron-on machine and its accessories. And then on this drawer, we've got just regular craft stuff. If I need to make a card or make 
uh, draw something or you know just craft stuff that I do and then in this drawer we just have all of my Cricut stuff I uh, love my Cricut machine my Cricut joy machine is inside that carrying case and then like this is all the materials for like the the long cardstock and all that stuff and then there's more materials over here and little tools here so Cricut on the door there isn't really much interesting stuff it's just stuff associated with my iPad and music folders this is carrying cases for equipment in case I need to travel with camera equipment or computer equipment. I've got, this is stuff for my taxes, and this is extra copies of magazines I contributed to, and envelopes here, some lights here that I haven't hung up, and a tile, I'm gonna test that out. Um, just some random cords and containers here, and then my work file up at the top along with some old cord control that I haven't, is not in use right now. I didn't really talk about my desk very, much but I got a new chair um, I got this on Amazon I'm not convinced that this is my forever chair but it's a good uh, in-between chair I don't like that it doesn't recline so I might have to keep shopping for the perfect chair but for now it's really cute it's got rose gold on it and I put this little blanket on it just in case um, I, I didn't want to stain the bottom of the chair but I don't know, it's pretty cute. It's very comfortable, I must say, it is very comfortable. But this is my streaming setup, in case you're interested, I do have two Elgato Key Light Airs so that I can see my face and you can see my face when I stream. And I just got this Stream Deck XL and I love it. This is so I can control all of my scenes and change uh, whether or not you can see the Streamlabs alerts, uh, there's sound effects on the bottom. This controls the lights. So you can see lights on there. It turns the lights on, lights off. So it's a really cool thing. I can hide my face cam if I need to sneeze or something or eat or something. I can toggle the mix. I can do all kinds of things. I, I have programmed all of these buttons to do different things uh, except for one. So <laughs> I have one slot open for something. So um, I will see what I want to use that for. I have one button that just puts it to sleep and I have little cute Celeste as my screensaver for my stream deck. So I have two monitors. One is a monitor that I, is 4K and that one I use to look at game. And this one is the one I use to control the stream. Um, and then I have my Elgato Wave 3 microphone and some headphones that connect to the microphone. So uh, if I, I would love to use wireless headphones, but I, get, I do get some delay. So in the meantime, I'm using Cord. Cord is the best right now so that I can see things on time when I do gaming. Um, and I do have a pair of blue light glasses that I do you wear during my stream sometimes. And uh, I guess that's all that's on my desk and there are my consoles. So <laughs> that's what I play from. So that is my new and improved relaxing chill office for my career as a content creator, classical singer and streamer so I am an organizer <laughs> I do so many different things I can't complain I have a lot of fun doing what I do and I now I have a really awesome office to do it in so I hope you found this inspiring and let me know if you're gonna redo your office space as well thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one bye